Hey guys, welcome to the podcast series of Emergently. It is Emily. Woo! Right, okay, so I've had a few responses off a few people that said that they actually prefer my podcast series when I just put their headset on and start talking. So here you go. A recent topic that has come into my life is failure and how people view failure and what my personal viewpoints are on this particular topic. It actually came about where someone uh, watched my YouTube video, which is called Mind Tag where it kind of goes into depth about how you keep yourself motivated. And then someone just simply asked, you know, like, well, how do you, how do you deal when it's not going okay? Like when it's like, when you feel like a failure. And weirdly enough, I've never seen myself as a failure. Um, I've, I've failed a lot, but I don't see myself as a failure. Um, It's just not what happens. I think this, but I think that's a distinct difference between two very similar words. You can be unsuccessful, you can fail at particular things and situations and so forth, but then that doesn't dictate who you are. In certain situations, maybe you failed something, but that just means you have to try harder next time, or work harder, or plan better, or there's usually a solution to the situation. The difference is if you see yourself as a failure, then that kind of gets into tricky waters because that that's putting yourself down. That is you and your mind putting yourself down, which is a very negative thing to do. And I don't suggest people do it, but I also get why people do do it because sometimes they just have a roller coaster effect of bad situations in their life and they don't know how to deal with it, which happens but I think personally and this is personally this is my own opinion you need to stop being so bothered about failing because you can fail and still win maybe it's just not your time right now but it will be later on in your life and you are definitely not a failure for the unsuccessful moments in your life and that is through and through something that I like to push on to people and I think it's why I view things the way that I do because that's how I see it um you know I failed exams and it just means that I have to work harder next time around that's it I don't sit there and wallow in my own self-pity because I failed and I think it's one thing that defines a lot of entrepreneurs I guess out there because we're very lucky that the internet is so big and the possibilities and the opportunities and the avenues that you can take in entrepreneurship in general is vast. It is so vast. Literally, I could probably in the next four weeks have a whole jewelry line if I wanted to, a whole new company or this kind of stuff. The difference is, is how you, well, it, it depends on you. There's a lot of people out there that want that sort of lifestyle. They want to be their own boss. They want to make a lot of money. They want to do this. They want to do that. But they're not willing to do the work. And I think that's the difference. You know, so people see other people and they say, well, they're they're winning. You know, they're winning because they have this big company and they have this and they have that. And they're not a failure. They're, they've not failed. Like, look at them. But if you actually go and interact with those people, they probably will turn around to you and go, oh yeah, well, I screwed up this and I screwed up that and I probably lost a couple of hundred quid, a couple of thousand pound, I don't know, on that and I did this and I did that, but they were just fails in the process. They were just fails in the journey. And they didn't sit there and wallow in it. They basically worked harder. They found a solution to the fail, basically. And that's how... That's how it should be. If you, if really, if you're out there and you want to be a business owner or if you want to be, you know, even fitness, like let's go to fitness, let's go to the core of Emerge Elite and go to fitness. If you want to be a better person, 
you're probably going to fail along the way. And it depends how you see it. You might fail because you ate a McDonald's. You might fail because you didn't hit a new PB one week. You might fail because you don't look like other people, but you're working just as hard. And it's what you do in that situation. It's how you change it. So it's, right, you didn't hit that BP. Try again next week it's fine. Maybe it's not meant to be today. It's okay. And so you can't see yourself as a failure. And I think that is a very big dividing line between all these people that we look up to and the people that we don't. People who sit in their own self-pity and aren't willing to work harder don't really want the outcome. And that is a harsh reality. If you do not 100% want to be successful, to be happy, to be the next fitness influencer, if you are not 100% in it, you are not going to go there. And it's simple. It's very simple. So that's it from me today. We kind of went on fails, failure, defining, whatever, mumbo jumbo. Usually it's me rambling. If you like this, please follow us on either SoundCloud, where you can search Emerge Elite, or YouTube, where you can search by just doing Emerge Elite. We are also on all other social platforms. Just search Emerge Elite. It's very simple. If you really like this and you want to see more, please do not hesitate to contact me. I love a little chat. Right. Have an amazing day, guys, and I will speak to you soon.